A month since Hamas militants attacked Israel, more than 10,000 Palestinians have been killed. And the WHO also says tens of thousands of pregnant women and new mothers are at risk due to a lack of medical facilities caused by Israeli airstrikes. Our Yi Seung just wrote us off. Gaza's health ministry said Monday that more than 10,000 Palestinians have been killed since the start of the armed conflict between Israel and Hamas. Among those killed, more than 4,100 are children. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called Gaza a graveyard for children, with the UN Palestinian Refugee Agency adding that one child has been killed every 10 minutes. The World Health Organization has also raised great concern over the health of pregnant women, new mothers and infants in the Gaza Strip, where many hospitals and medical facilities have shut down due to ongoing airstrikes by Israel. According to the WHO, there are about 50,000 new mothers and pregnant women in the Gaza Strip, with more than 180 babies born every day. It added that 4,600 pregnant women and 380 newborns residing in refugee camps operated by the UN throughout Gaza need treatment. Meanwhile, Israeli forces advanced deeper into Gaza on Monday with more airstrikes overnight. Monday's airstrikes and ground attacks focused on the northern half of the Gaza Strip, where the Israel Defense Forces believe Hamas has most of its strongholds. On Sunday, the Israeli military struck over 450 Hamas targets while also taking control of a Hamas military compound. Within the compound were underground tunnels, observation points and training facilities for Hamas fighters. Following a two-day suspension, dozens of foreign passport holders, as well as some medical evacuees on Monday, passed through the Rafah crossing from Gaza into Egypt. According to the Gaza Border Authority, Egyptians and foreign citizens already on pre-approved lists issued since last week were allowed through. 80 dual nationals and 17 medical evacuees left Gaza through Rafah, with 48 aid trucks crossing in the other direction. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.